It is unbelievable to see Cremona. It is very weird to hear only the noises of the ambulance. And every day, every night, it's the only noise you, you hear. This is not life. This is very, very sad. Since the virus is hidden, you don't know if you are healthy or not, if you are sick or not. At the very beginning, we felt alone. I think that this was the worst thing. You start feeling sad when you think that no one can give you a help. You cannot make it by yourself. People like you that left the, the states to be on the side of the population of Cremona is a very big hope for our CC. The coronavirus, or COVID-19, it's contagious. It's respiratory, which means that it spreads more easily. Italy is experiencing a large outbreak right now. Because we're Samaritans first and because we're all passionate about this type of work, we want to go where the need is greatest. And at the moment, this, is, this has been identified as the place in greatest need. Here in Northern Italy, Samaritan's Purse has deployed a 68-bed emergency field hospital, which we've adapted into a respiratory care unit, complete with an ICU to care for critically ill patients from COVID-19. We're right across the street from the main hospital, close enough that they're actually gonna provide our screening and our triage and initial testing, and then patients will be transferred over to us. They are supporting us significantly, and this is very much a joint effort. They've been unbelievable. They've been so helpful. We have nurses, doctors, lab technicians, wash and sanitation specialists to make sure that patients get everything that they need. All of that previous knowledge and all the experience we've had responding to infectious disease around the world has led up to this moment. You can see God at every moment giving us a little bit, another piece to that puzzle so that when we get to moments like these, he's made sure we've had everything we've needed. When you have the capacity to make change and to help, you can't look away from that. It's a terrible situation. The ICU is packed. They're very critical patients, and they require a lot of care and support and prayer because they are very sick. We're all, as a world, in this together now, and that's very unique. Usually it's one country under crisis, but right now it feels like the whole world is feeling the same thing, and that unites us. We've been stopped by many people saying, you, you are the answer to our prayers, you are the miracle. And that is incredibly motivating to know that God, God is answering their prayers through you. It's very powerful and it's very humbling. You are facing a very uh, difficult mission, but you are showing a, a big power. This is what I noticed, what I see. It is very strengthening to, to, to be by your side. We're all motivated by a desire to, to love like Jesus loves and to, to be his hands and his feet and to be the miracle in darkness. As a disaster response uh, individual and as a human being, you want to go and help and it's not always possible. So to be at the threshold like this, to be at these moments where we're here and we get to help is incredibly humbling and there's absolutely no other place any one of us would rather be.